Your favorite cacophony of co-op action-packed RPG gameplay is back! We caught up with some of the talent behind The Division 2 to talk about the game and what has them so excited. Check it out! Hey Xbox Canada, Dapper Tux here and we are in the Oval Office with Yousef from Ubisoft to talk all about The Division 2. Washington DC is experiencing some dire times right now. Uh, the Division 2 is set seven months after the events of the first division uh, and now we're, we're moving to DC, right, the nation's capital. What are some new sort of add-ons to the multiplayer I'm going to experience? The Division 2 has actually been designed really with an endgame first mentality. For the first time ever, raids will be coming to the Division. Uh, so we'll have eight player raids, uh, which we are, we're all really excited for. You've never been able to roll uh, with so many other agents before. In terms of the differences uh, environmentally from you know, a snow-covered New York now to almost a, a tropical looking really cool summery Washington, what are some of the things players are going to experience uh, in terms of maybe the change of mechanics with the two different environments? Landscape diversity um, is, is very rich in DC. So if you go, for example, to the suburbs of, of Georgetown, uh, you'll have much larger sight lines, which starts to impact gameplay a little bit and, and your cover and how far you can see enemies. Um, versus if you go somewhere like the National Mall, where it's very open and flat, uh, it allows you to really approach conflicts from, from any angles. What are some ideas or things that you, know, you can sort of talk about in, re in regards to customization of your agent? Players will be able to customize their agents all the way so that you know, no two agents really look the same, so that there's a very very clear distinction between someone who's just starting out and someone who's you know completed a raid or done a lot of endgame content. The development team learned a lot from the Division 1 uh, and one of those things was making very rich robust endgame content. As soon as you know once players hit the level cap once they finish you know the main campaign uh, there's gonna be much much more to do uh, and at that point they'll actually unlock what's called specializations which allow you to play the most uh, high level most challenging endgame content. That's great. Thank you so much for filling us in on everything to expect from the Division 2. Thank you. Thank you very much. Couldn't get enough, could ya? Well, lucky for you, there's tons more incredible Xbox Software One content. Just click here, or maybe here, or somewhere, somewhere down there.